Hey everybody, uh, I thought I would share with you some of the um, fishing tackle that I picked up recently. Uh, if this is your first time here, uh, my name is Scott and this is a channel dedicated to reselling things online. My wife and I do this full time. We, um, we buy things at garage sales and estate sales and thrift stores and Goodwill, places like that. And, and then we resell them online. One of the best things that you can pick up are fishing lures and that's what I'm going to talk about in this episode. All right so the first one I wanted to show you uh, is a little buzz bait and this is a shimmy number five. Uh, I actually got several of these that were unused and uh, they're fun here in the tank and um, they would probably sell for somewhere around $15 a piece online, but I will probably keep those and, and use them. But I do want to tell you some of the things that sell well and the reason that they sell well. And so if you follow me on Instagram, you might have seen me pick this up at a sale. And uh, it can be tough to get uh, lures and fishing gear at sales because everybody knows it's valuable and they go pick it up. But uh, this didn't look like a tackle box, so no one had picked it up. One of the things that you're looking for is when you find vintage lures, you're always hoping that they're in a box because it uh, one is it's easier to identify them. Now you do need to make sure and compare the lure that is written on the box with the one in the box uh, because it's not always the same. But this is uh, the River Runt. Uh, it's made by Hedden and all of these still have the catalogs in them. Most of these are dated in, uh, in fact, all of these in this particular bag were dated 1948. So that's one of the ones I picked up. Those should sell for somewhere between 40 and $60. And here was another one. This guy here is pretty beat up. Most of the others didn't, didn't look used much at all, but that one it had, uh, it's probably had a few fish on the line. Uh, this was a neat one. That's the Hedden River Runt, but it's called the Go Deeper. And I just, he was probably used, but not much, not much. That one's in great shape. And we had a couple more. When you're picking up these vintage lures, the condition of the box makes a big difference. Um, look at that one. Just, just this side of perfect. And the box on that is excellent too for 1948. And also this one's in great shape. I hope I can kill out the uh, sound of the cicadas for you when <laughs> in post-production. It's pretty loud out here. Um, this is one of the reasons you have to check. Uh, this is a bomber lures. But when you open it, and I don't know that that one's labeled, but that looks like a Bassarino to me, or something very, very similar to it. Still a great lure, but it isn't going to, this is not the original box. Now, if the box is very old, a lot of times the box can sell for $15, $20, or even more, depending upon the lure. Here is another bomber box, but this one, is labeled correctly and because I still have the catalogs I am able to look that up and make sure that the 414 is uh, is labeled correctly and so again most of these lures will go you know forty dollars maybe maybe a little better uh, here is another one it's a Fred Arbogast uh, hula dancer and any of the lures that have rubber or plastic that tends to that tends to wear pretty bad. It gets old. Uh, this box, you talk about the condition of the box, this box is, is a little bit rough. Um, and of course that will impact the price. 
another one and this one it doesn't even have the the bomber in it but it's still exciting to find uh, what is in there and always good to have the box this is also something that you may come across uh, all of this was in the the same box this one and just like uh, shoes today come with a dust bag the old fishing reels came in a dust bag and having all the paperwork with it helps uh, a great deal as well you know obviously the more complete it is the better I think my other camera just died, so we'll do it like this. So when you have the dust bag, you want to check the reel, and it hopefully it's a little bit humid out here. Um, hopefully it looks like this one. This one's in really, really good shape. It's been raining and hot here all day. This is a Shakespeare. This one is, um, the reel itself is in great condition. Still has the stuff on it. One of the things you look for on these is like on this one still has the Bakelite handle, but that is pretty broken up. Um, but it doesn't have a gigantic impact on the price because that's also really easy to replace. So this is an under spinning reel, something unusual. Not a great deal of value on that, probably 30 bucks, may, maybe 35. And sometimes you'll see odder things, odder, <laughs> odd things. Uh, the Wolverine, this is an automatic fly reel. This will actually not have a great deal of value at all. Um, this one, you're probably looking at 10 to $15. And I think that this is the last thing that is of interest. I told you I had the shimmy number five. Uh, there were actually a few of them in here. Any original vintage things that you can get that are that still have the original print on them, things like that are good. Um, I would use these if I were selling an entire uh, vintage toolbox. You can keep these things and add that to it. And uh, these little lures are terrific. I will actually keep that for my own use. And those are leaders with some swivels on them. And also, always pay attention to the, um, the bags that they come in. Uh, vintage tackle boxes, the, some of the older metal tackle boxes will be lined with cork, uh, but all of them are pretty good. So pay close attention to that. I had my other camera shut down. It said it got too hot. So we will finish up with this. Um, anytime you're out, check out the vintage tackle when you see it. It's pretty easy to look up. Uh, a lot of the vintage tackle still has the names on it. And that makes it easy to look up. And um, uh, the, the sell-through rate on these is usually really, really good. And condition matters a lot when you're talking about vintage, vintage uh, tackle. Try to look for... The paint job isn't cracked up and the hooks are not rusty uh, and the hook itself can be replaced but if the hardware the 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 diving bills and things like that are rusted completely out it makes them harder to to sell but gosh if you find a whole box in good shape it's probably still worth your while to take take a really good look at it so uh that's it for me uh quick video amazing finds uh if you're wondering i i got this one just for a few dollars and so I will come out great on it, uh, not to mention having fun down at the tank. So I appreciate you being here, and uh, I really appreciate you watching, and I will see you on the next one. Thanks.